So let's go into the put option then. We're gonna see the very same. Um, every, see everything's the same layout that I have here. And um, again, with the put option, we're given the uh, scenarios. I don't wanna go back into the question, but I did highlight them. I heard they are here. And what if the spot price turned out to be a dollar thirty-four or a dollar forty-four? So let's go back and find out what if these were the cases and I had to make payment. Remember, I'm an importer here, so I'm gonna make payment. So I owe eight hundred thousand Canadian dollar. If the spot price ended up being one thirty-four, this is how much I owe. If the spot price ended up being one forty-four, this is how much I owe. So you can see there's again about a 42,000 euro in the difference between the two. I'm gonna go back up here because I want to find out what I had chosen in terms of my strike. We had chosen the 138 because the premium was a lot cheaper, even though you're paying an extra 140 quid. I'm just gonna put that in here to make the comparison between those two possible outcomes regarding the spot price. Okay, so remember we're paying for goods. Would you rather pay this or would you rather pay this? Obviously, you're like the you prefer to pay the smaller number. Okay, so what should you do with your option if this was the actual outcome? This price went was 134 spot, but you had insurance. You're going to remember the terminology, you're going to exercise the option. Okay, so at 134 spot, you will exercise the option because you don't want to pay this, you prefer to pay this. Okay. And the other scenario is what if the spot price ended up being 144, adding on your premium? At that spot price, you will either pay the 563 or the 587. And again, it comes down to what would you prefer to pay? You prefer to obviously pay the lower amount as the importer, 563. So what are you going to do? You abandon your option and let the seller keep the premium. The reason why, again, we're adding the premium here is because we're an importer, we're paying for the goods, and we're paying for the, the premium for the option. So that's what we have in here, the note. I just explained it. We exercise the option at the 134 because the option is a better value, and we abandon the option at 144 because the spot is better than the option. Okay, And we're going to illustrate that with a diagram. This is what the put looks like. So if you're unsure how to illustrate it, just do this. Okay, again, in, in the middle, I put in what my strike was. Remember, I chose the 138 strike, so that's in there. I'm undecided whether I sh what, should I go multiples of 0 0.05, should it be 0 0.02 or whatever it is, okay? And that should, you should uh, determine the scaling here based on the premium. And the premium here is 0 0.018. And quickly, I'm gonna jump in to show you again where that premium is coming from. We are dealing with the Canadian dollar, a June put, we chose a 138, there's the premium, 0 0.018. So that's almost, if I round that up, that's like a 0 0.02, and that's why I decided to go for multiples of 0 0.02. Uh, the earlier one was like a five, and that's why I decided to go for multiples of five for the Hungarian bond. So therefore, uh, with my put, I will take the strike, subtract the premium in this case from it. There is my break even, so 1.38 minus 0 point, uh, 0 0.018 will give me fairly close to this number here. So that distance, now that I've marked it off, I will replicate that distance here so I know where to put my premium. And I will draw a straight line from that strike 138 across. And from the strike of 138, I will kink that line through the break even point that I marked off up here. And you will write in here, uh, abandon exercise, strike price in the money or unlimited gain out of the money or limited loss.